Do you realize all that you have to give up to be a parent? Your father and I are very disappointed in you. What about the baby? Is this fair to your child? How are you going to raise a child? You're a child yourself. Have you thought about all your choices? What about all your goals? This decision was probably one of the hardest of my life. I'm the type of person that likes to take care of myself. And right now, I'm not done with school yet. I am living in a single bedroom apartment and I just couldn't afford without relying on state help and other things to raise a baby by myself. I, I might have been able to do it, but not in the way that I want to raise a baby. Being able to bless a family that maybe couldn't have a baby or um, wanted to adopt felt very rewarding. I really thought I was going to be scared through all this, th through this decision. I'm so proud of myself for choosing the adoption network and for choosing adoption for the baby because I, I know she's going to have a nice life. Based in Southern California, Adoption Network Law Center is a professional law corporation providing quality adoption services all across the United States. We're here to provide you with a caring, loving, and nurturing atmosphere where our adoption advisors are ready 24-7 to guide you through the adoption process. ANLC was built upon the principle that each child deserves to be raised in a safe and loving environment, and you are empowered to make the decision about the family who will raise your child. One misconception that I hear a lot from birth moms is that they don't understand that they do have the control and that they choose their adoption plan. A lot of girls want to meet the couple ahead of time, have a relationship, and then after get pictures and updates and kind of, you know, from that point make a healthy separation. It's amazing that we get the choice to look through hundreds of couples and pick the ones that we want to raise our baby and the location that we want our baby to be raised, and the morals, and the religion, it's just amazing that you get to kind of handpick that from so many different couples. Part of them having peace about their decision and walking away with no regrets is having control. I think it's an amazing experience for a birth mom and an adoptive couple to get to meet face to face before the baby's actually born. I think it strengthens their relationship. It um, gives them a stronger commitment to one another. They become more real to each other because they can actually hug one another and, and thank one another really for you know, what they're doing. But we've had a, a number of opportunities to get together, go out to dinner, and really just to get, you know, have a chance to get to know one another. And, and I think it's you know, helped our uh, relationship and, and help uh, us articulate you know, to uh, our daughter uh, all about her birth mother and how wonderful she is. I know so much more after spending time with Brian and Heidi than I ever could have imagined knowing. I've seen her bedroom and her nursery where she's going to live. I've seen her home. I've met her grandparents. And it's really reassured me that this baby is going to have the best life possible. So there's a, a constant growing of their relationship so that the birth mother or birth parents sometimes there's a birth father involved as well, are comfortable knowing that this adoptive couple don't have any problem sending them pictures or receiving notes from them for their child. So it does make things, we, we have couples that come back and, and their, their kids are 9, 10 and they still have a relationship with their birth mother, which is a really great thing for everyone. I just got some pictures recently and he looks awesome. He looks like he's so happy and he fits in really well with the family and they told me he's talking and going on and on as if they know what he's talking about and they have no idea. And um, it's just good. It's good to get that like constant like reassurance that yes, I made the right decision. As a birth mother, you are going to feel uh, supported and uh, nurtured in the process so that your decision to place your baby is the right decision and you are going to be working with an advisor that is going to guide you through the process and help you to find that perfect couple who you feel is going to be the, the family for your child. Ellen has helped me more than you would think that an advisor would help someone because when I came out here I was very closed-minded 
about the whole adoption process. I kind of wanted to come out here and get through it by myself and go back home to my normal life. And Ellen has kind of helped me by letting me know that it's okay to have a relationship with Heidi and Brian and it's okay to let yourself feel things and it's totally normal and totally natural and so it's really helped me I think emotionally be more stable in my decision. Our adoption advisors can help arrange assistance with living expenses and supervised housing. We do have a housing facility here where um, birth moms can live in our apartments and we have an adoption advisor who oversees all of that and really puts her heart and soul into it and um, you know she takes these girls to the doctor she takes some grocery shopping and the benefit of that is there's really a lot of hand holding and they get a lot of you know one-on-one -on -one support there are so many people who can't have children of their own that it seems like such a waste um, not to give them a special life especially when it's a nicer life than probably any 18 or 19 year old single girl could provide for their own child. So, I mean, it's it's not looking at it as what am I gonna lose or what am I gonna gain, but what is this baby gonna gain in her life? As this part of your journey ends, you can look forward to positive changes that will impact your life and smooth the road to a much brighter future for you and your baby. Someday if that child wants to find their biological parent, we want them to find a successful, happy person with no regrets. I've always planned on going back to school, and I still do, um, but it just has made it more of an important issue. I look at the family that Brian and Heidi have, and I look at what my family can be like someday. I've been blessed with a lot of opportunities to do a lot of different things, and in doing these things, I'm realizing, too, that you know, I made the right decision, it's just always confirming that. I'm very thankful that I found Adoption Network Law Center, and I couldn't be happier with my future or my baby's future. To find out more about your choices and how we can help make them a reality, visit us on the web at adoptionnetwork.com or phone us at 1-866-94-ADOPT.